Hey everyone, I'm John Reams, an exercise physiologist here at NICPAD. Today, Carnesia and I are going to be engaging in some flexibility practices from this floor position. One thing to remember is anything you see us do on the floor can also be adapted to a bed. So, we'll begin by placing our legs out in front of us as straight as possible. Carnesia is going to utilize a yoga strap to help keep her feet and legs as close together as possible. Let's start by stacking our posture. We're gonna to try to set our ears directly over our shoulders and our shoulders directly over our hips. We'll take three deep breaths, inhaling through our nose and exhaling through our mouth. Every time you breathe, try to imagine a string coming out of the top of your head and lifting your spine into a straight position. Think about bringing the shoulders down away from the ears. One more breath. This time, when we exhale, we're gonna slide our hands forward and fold our body straight ahead across our legs. We're gonna inhale and exhale, sliding forward into this extended spine position, trying to keep a long spine. We're gonna to try to pull our toes up toward the ceiling and we'll inhale again. Every time we exhale, think about opening that back a little bit more, sinking a little more deeply into the stretch. If possible, bringing your hands around the outside of your feet in effort to pull your toes up toward the sky. We'll take one more deep breath here and exhale. We'll come back up into our long sitting position. From here, let's take our left leg, bend it, try to place your left foot, the inside of your foot, against the inside of your right thigh. It can be against the inside of your right thigh or against the inside of your right calf. We just wanna avoid putting pressure on the inside of the knee. From here, we're going to inhale, we'll stack our posture again, and we'll exhale, folding forward, long spine, shoulders down away from the ears. We'll inhale again, exhale. Every time we exhale, think about sinking a little more deeply into that stretch trying to bring hands around the bottom of your foot in effort to pull your toes up toward the sky. One more deep breath. And we'll exhale. We'll come back up into this long sitting position. This time, we're gonna rotate our torso and we're gonna forward fold over the bent knee. So we'll be folding forward over our left leg. So we'll rotate the torso, we'll face over our knee. We're gonna inhale, shoulders down away from the ears. Exhale, folding forward over that bent knee as much as possible. Again, only to the point where you feel resistance. We'll inhale again. Exhale, try to really point that right foot or the toes of that right foot toward the sky. Inhale again, and exhale, returning into that long sitting position. We'll straighten that left leg, we'll change directions, 
we'll do the same with the right leg. So I'm gonna walk myself over into this position. I'll bend the right knee. I'll bring my right foot. Here, I've got my right foot on the inside of my calf. It's okay if both legs and both hips don't have the same fluidity of motion. You're just trying to utilize whatever range of motion you have available to you. We're gonna start by folding forward over the straight leg, the left leg this time. We'll start in our long sitting position. We'll inhale and exhale, trying to slide forward as far as possible still trying to keep the toes of that left foot pointed toward the sky. We'll inhale again, sinking a little more deeply into the stretch as we exhale. If possible, try to walk your hands around your foot in an effort to bring those toes up toward the sky. We'll inhale again, exhale sinking a little more deeply into that stretch. We'll inhale, and exhale, coming back up into our long sitting position. Now, we're gonna rotate our torso toward the right. We're gonna try to fold over the bent right knee this time. Long sitting position, tall spine. We're gonna inhale, exhale, Try to slide your chest toward that right knee, keeping the toes of that left foot pulled upward as much as possible. We're going to inhale, exhale, think about sinking a little more deeply into that stretch. Here with the focus being trying to bring your chest a little farther out beyond your knee. One more breath, inhale, exhale. We're gonna inhale again. And on the exhale, we'll begin to walk it back up to this long sitting position. The last stretch we're gonna do is gonna be a hip opener. We're going to try to position ourselves with facing toward the left and directly over the left knee with a 90 degree angle at the left knee and a 90 degree angle at the right knee behind us. We're trying to face our chest as straight over that right knee as possible. We're going to inhale and exhale. This time when we exhale, we're gonna slide forward over that right knee, left knee. Slowly sliding forward over that knee. Again, the goal here being trying to bring your chest as far beyond that left knee as possible. We'll inhale again. Exhale, trying to sink a little more deeply into that stretch. This time I'm gonna rotate to the back to get a little more of a side opening stretch. Carnesia is gonna maintain this current position. We'll inhale and exhale. I'll walk myself back. Carnesia is gonna maintain that same position. We'll inhale again and exhale. On that exhale, we'll slowly come back up to our starting position. Let's change direction. This will be the last stretch. Trying to place our chest 
directly in line with the right knee this time. 90 degree angle at both knees, front and back. We'll start in our long sitting position. We'll inhale. Exhale. This time when we exhale, we're gonna fold forward over that right leg. Sliding out to try to bring our chest as far beyond that right knee as possible. We'll inhale again. Exhale. Thinking about sinking a little more deeply into this stretch by bringing our chest a little farther ahead of that right knee. I'll rotate toward the back again on this next one. Carnesia will maintain the current position. We're going to inhale. And exhale. As I exhale, I'll rotate my torso away from that right knee. We'll inhale again. Exhale. And this time when we exhale, we'll slide back up into that long sitting position. And then we'll slowly bring our knees around to face the front. And that's it. That's your floor-based flexibility exercises. If you find any of these practices to be meaningful for you, leave a comment, share the video with anyone that you think may benefit from it, and subscribe to the channel. 